The name Oscar is a very popular name known around the world today. Especially because of the Academy Awards and the nicknaming of their award statue as the Oscars. But did you know that the name Oscar actually has its origins in ancient Irish mythology? Oscar was a warrior and member of the Fenia, a group of warriors from old Irish folklore. He also comes from a great line of ancient Irish heroes, as he was the son of Oisín and grandson of the leader of the Fenia, Fionn McCool. Like his father, Oscar's name is tied to the animal, the deer, where Oisín's name means little deer, Oscar's name means friend of the deer. Oscar was said to be of the strongest and fiercest of the Fenia warriors. In one battle, when a foreign king named Colgan tried to invade Ireland, Fionn would gather the Fenia warriors to mount a defence, and though many would fall in combat to the invading forces, saddened and angered at the loss of so many of his companions, Oscar fought through the invading army and would meet their king in single combat. After a long and bloody battle, Oscar killed Colgan, and with the loss of the invading king, the tide of the battle turned in favour of the Fenia, and the invading army fled back to the seas. Oscar would fight in many battles and wars for the Fenia, right up until his last. A battle known as Caw Gavra, or the Battle of Gavra. The then High King of Ireland, Carbra, son of Cormac McGart, believed the Fenia had become too powerful and could be a threat to his rule. The High King conspired with the provincial kings of Ulster and Leinster to raise an army and provoke war with the Fenia. Munster would be the only province to support the Fenia for the bloody war that would follow. Even with this extra support, the Fenia would find themselves heavily outnumbered. During this battle, Oscar would once again find himself in a fierce single combat with the enemy leader, the High King of Ireland. Eventually, Oscar would fell and kill the king, however, not without having taken a mortal wound of his own. Oscar too would die on the battlefield that day, and with the loss of his grandson, it is said to be the one and only time that Fionn McCool had ever cried. <laughs>